Environmental Studies Series 3 Chapter 4 Getting to Know Plants Hello friends, we are Akshay and Rhea. Nature is full of surprises. Leaves feel soft and rough to touch. Flowers have such lovely smells. Big trees give cool shade on sunny days. Birds fly in the sky, and squirrels jump on trees. Butterflies are colorful, and bees make honey. Plants and animals make nature amazing. Let us know about these wonderful things with us. Plants are all around us and come in various sizes and types. They may be herbs, shrubs, trees, creepers, or climbers. Most plants have a similar body structure despite their differences. Like animals, plants live on land and in water. Let us learn all about different land plants, water plants and the parts of plants. Land Plants The plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. Some live for many years, while others survive for only a few months. These plants keep our surroundings clean and green. Land plants are grouped into trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers, creepers and thorny plants based on their size, shape and features. Herbs Herbs are very small plants with soft, non-woody stems. They are usually weak and live for only a few months. Examples of herbs include mint, coriander, tomato, sunflower and grass. Grasses are a type of herb with thin, flat leaves and hollow stems. Shrubs Shrubs are medium-sized plants. They have many woody stems and branches that grow close to the ground. They have thin, hard stems and are often referred to as bushy plants. Shrubs typically live for a few years. Examples of shrubs include tulsi, holy basil, cotton, rose, hibiscus and curry leaf plants. Trees Trees are large and tall plants. They have a thick and broad stem known as trunk. Trees grow for many years. Their roots grow deep into the soil helping them stay stable and absorb water and essential nutrients. Trees like people, neem, banyan, mango, amaltus, oak, teak, coconut, palm and pine are common examples. They also have branches with leaves spread out, providing shade and beauty. Climbers Climbers are plants with very weak stems that cannot stand upright on their own. They grow upward by taking support from other plants or structures. Some climbers even absorb nutrients from the plants they climb on. Examples of climbers include money plant, jasmine, bottle gourd, grapevine and pea plant. Creepers Creepers are plants with weak stems that grow along the ground. They cannot stand upright. These plants spread out as they grow. Examples of creepers include pumpkin, muskmelon, cucumber and watermelon. Water plants. Plants that live in water are called aquatic plants. Some examples of these plants are lotus and water lily. Some plants float on the water's surface, while others stay rooted at the bottom with long roots. These plants are specially suited to grow in water. For example, they have broad, that leaves and flexible stems. Thorny plants Thorny plants grow in dry areas like deserts. They have spines instead of leaves to save water. They're thick, Green stems store water and make food. Thorns also protect them from animals. Parts of a plant Look at a plant growing in your surroundings. You will see a part growing above the soil. The other part that you cannot see is under the ground. The part that you see is called shoot and that you cannot see is called root. Thus, a plant body has two main parts. 
These are shoot and root. The shoot grows above the ground. The part which grows below the ground is called the root. The shoot bears stem, branches, leaves, buds, flowers and fruits. Root The roots usually grow under the ground. The two main types of roots are taproots and fibrous roots. 1. Taproots A main root grows from the end of stem in taproots. The other fine roots grow from the main root. Some examples of trees having such roots are gram, mustard, bean and mango trees. 2. Fibrous roots In fibrous roots, a number of roots grow from the end of the stem. For example, the small plants like grasses, wheat and rice plants have fibrous roots. Functions of the root The roots carry out following various functions in the plant body. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. They fix the plant firmly on the ground. Some roots store food, for example, carrot, radish and beetroot. Shoot The shoot grows above the soil. It bears stem, branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. Let us learn about parts of the shoot. 1. Stem the stem is the part of a plant that grows above the soil. Leaves, flowers, buds and fruits grow from the stem. Big trees like neem, mango, pine and banyan have thick, woody stems called trunks. Plants like money plant, mint and some flowering plants have soft stems, while others like tulsi and china rose have thin, woody stems. The stem has nodes, where leaves grow, and internodes, which are the spaces between two nodes. Functions of the stem The stem performs following functions. The stem helps the plant to stand straight. It bears branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. The stem conducts water and minerals absorbed by the roots to the leaves and other parts of the plant. Some stems store food in them. We eat these stems, for example, sugarcane, potato and ginger. Leaves The leaves are an essential part of a plant, typically flat and green due to a pigment called chlorophyll. Tiny pores on the surface of leaves called stomata help plants breathe. The leaves are attached to the stem or branch at a node and come in various shapes, sizes and textures. Some leaves, such as tulsi and neem, possess medicinal properties. Mint and curry leaves are known for their unique fragrances. Leaves can have smooth surfaces, like guava, or rough textures, like jackfruit. Certain leaves, such as mango, release a delightful fragrance when rubbed. The distinct aromas of fruits like mango, Pineapple and jamun are often associated with their leaves. Parts of a leaf. A leaf has following parts. Lamina. It is the flat, broad and green part of the leaf which is also called the leaf blade. Petiole. The thin stalk that attaches the lamina to the stem. Apex. The tip of the leaf is called apex. Leaf margin. It is the edge or boundary of the leaf. Veins. Thin lines running through the leaf, with a thicker line in the middle called the midrib. In grasses, leaves do not have a midrib, and veins are arranged in straight lines. Functions of leaves. Leaves are important for plants and have the following functions. Leaves use carbon dioxide water and sunlight to make food for the plant. This process is called photosynthesis. The chlorophyll helps in absorbing sunlight. This is the reason that the leaves are called the food factory of the plant. Plants breathe air through tiny pores present on the surface of leaves called stomata, sign, stoma. Some leaves store food, like spinach, cabbage, fenugreek and mint, which we eat as vegetables. 
Flowers are the most beautiful and colorful part of many plants. Some plants, like grass and paddy, have small and dull flowers. Many flowers have a sweet liquid to attract insects. Flowers come in different sizes, colors, shapes, smells and textures. A flower has the following parts. Petals. The soft, bright and colorful parts of a flower. Sepals. The green, leaf-like parts that protect the petals. Stamens. The thin, stick-like parts inside the flower that produce pollen. Stigma or pistil. The central part of the flower that helps in making seeds. Nectary. The part of the flower that produces the sweet liquid called nectar to attract insects. Functions of flowers. The flowers have these important roles in plants. Flowers develop into fruits, which contain seeds. They help plants reproduce. Flowers produce nectar, a sweet liquid that attracts and feeds insects, birds and bats. Some flowers store food like broccoli, cauliflower, saffron and cloves, which we eat. Fruits Fruits have seeds inside them. The number of seeds in all fruits is not the same. Some fruits have one seed. Some have a few seeds while others have many. A mango fruit has one seed while an apple has a few seeds. A papaya has many seeds. Function of Fruits a fruit performs the following functions. It protects seeds inside it. We eat many fruits as food. We also use some fruits as vegetables and spices. Pumpkin, capsicum, brinjals and ladies' fingers are some fruits that are used as vegetables. They have seeds inside them. Seeds. Plants make seeds and each seed holds a tiny baby plant inside it. When a seed is placed in soil and gets water and warmth, it begins to grow into a new plant. The food stored in the seed leaves helps the baby plant grow. Once the plant's leaves can make their own food, the seed leaves fall off. Parts of a seed. Seeds come in many shapes, sizes, and colors but they all have the same main parts. Seed coat. This is the outer layer that keeps the seed safe. Hylum is a scar on seed coat where seed is attached to fruit. Micropyle is a tiny opening on seed. Some seeds, like beans and corn, have hard seed coats. Embryo. This is the tiny baby plant inside the seed. It has plumule which develops into stem. The tiny radical grows as root. It grows when the seed gets the right conditions. Cotyledons, seed leaves. These store food for the baby plant. The baby plant uses this food to grow until it can make its own food. Based on number of cotyledons seeds are of two types. These are monocot, with one thin cotyledon as in wheat, rice, and decot, with two thick cotyledons as in gram p. Functions of seeds. The seeds have following functions. The seeds grow and give rise to new plants. They provide us food, for example, we eat the seeds of wheat, rice, pulses and maize, and in the form of spices. Care of plants. Plants are living things like us and need care to grow well and stay healthy. They provide us with food, oxygen, and other valuable resources, so we must protect and nurture them. Here are some simple ways to care for plants. Use good quality soil for planting. Ensure plants get enough sunlight. Water plants regularly and in the right amount. Add manure to the soil for nutrients. Protect plants from stray animals. Avoid plucking leaves and flowers unnecessarily. Encourage others to care for plants and understand their importance.